Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mindful Monday. It's so good to be back here on the mat on this sunny Monday here. Um, I was made aware that it's not sunny everywhere, which is so true, right? <laughs> so feel free to take advantage of my sun if you're not um, experiencing sunshine wherever you are. So we'll start in a seated position, and I suggest you prop your hips up, giving your spine an opportunity to elongate and make some room for some breath that we all need. We'll start this Monday with a really nice, deep breathing practice. And I thought we would um, practice a little mudra if you choose. The mudras are um, hand positions that yogis use to create different um, sensations and um, in the body and so I thought we'd use prana mudra which is um, said to increase energy so it's the thumb comes to the pinky and the fourth finger and then the two fingers are extended sometimes you see um, like I icons of Jesus with this and I always think wow he's he's doing a mudra it's kind of cool so if you choose to uh, engage in a mudra with me, let's go for it. We'll see if we can create some more prana, some good energy this morning as we start our practice. So allow your eyes to gently close. And just as you do, just go inside with your inner vision, just scan your body and notice what you find. And give you a moment to do that. Moving through every little nook and cranny, notice how you're feeling. Just taking inventory. And take a moment to acknowledge the sounds in your world this morning. See if you can notice a few different sounds distinguishing between them. And then notice the temperature of the air. <clears throat> Feel the air on your skin that biggest organ of all in our body. And with your eyes gently closed or softened, notice the quality of light that is shining through your eyelids. Just becoming aware of each sensory experience, one at a time. And then become aware of your breath. Notice what was happening as you were exploring your world. Your breath was happening on its own. However, now let's bring some mindfulness to that breath. So notice what your natural breath is like this morning. And then as we draw the shoulders down away from the ears, maybe puffing up your chest slightly, drawing your belly in, keeping your chin parallel with the earth, let's invite in a deeper breath. Nice soft belly, pull that breath in through the nostrils and fill up from top to bottom. Just take a big drink of air, filling up the lungs. So good for your lungs, so good for your body. And then allow that air to release just slowly as you can, breathing out through the nostrils, slow, slow, slow. So the importance of the exhalation being longer than the inhalation cannot be over 
exaggerated. So it's really good for the nervous system. So let's, let's practice that. Take a nice long drink of air, filling up. And then release slowly, letting the air release slowly, slowly, slowly. So see if you can extend it. Good. Let's take a few more here. Just feeling that breath fill up. Every breath filling you up. And every exhalation releasing, letting go, just slowly. Sometimes we're asked to let go of things, people, too quickly. We want to we want to have that gentle letting go with our breath. It's a nice practice. We'll take a couple more together here. So good. Nice. When you're ready, without opening your eyes, just take your palms and bring them together right at your heart and press your thumbs into your sternum. Press your fingers together. This is another mudra, Anjali mudra, the mudra of prayer. And create a, a prayer, an intention for your practice today. What is it that you need? Or what is it that you'd like to send out to someone else or to the world this morning as we begin our day, our week? Sometimes getting still enough to find an intention is a challenge. But we can do this together. We've, got, we've created this space so that we can get still. So. When you're ready, blink open your eyes, bring your thumbs up to your third eye, and just take a little gentle bow forward, acknowledging the beginning of our practice. And then as you inhale, sit up. And as you exhale, we'll bow forward again. Just a gentle bow. Inhale, like you're making a wave with your uh, back. So just coming forward as far as your back allows. And we'll take two more. Just feeling into the back. I'm beginning to make some gentle movements to wake up. And then as you're ready, release your arms. Let your hands come out to the side and inhale. Reach up and look up. Like you're grabbing all the goodness, all the sunshine, draw it right on down into your heart. Press your palms together like you mean it. Make a muscle and let your thumbs come together at your sternum. We'll take two more. Inhale, reach up and look up. And exhale, bring your chin back to your chest, your hands to your heart. Third time's a charm. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart center. Nice, good. We'll take the arms out wide, inhale, reach up and look up, and instead of bringing the hands to the heart, take a twist to whatever side feels right. The One hand can come in front, one hand can come in back. And lift your heart, lift your gaze, take your gentle neck stretch over that shoulder. Take one more breath in, and as you exhale, slowly unwind. Inhale to reach up and look up. Make some length in your side body and take your twist to the opposite side. Good. You can take one hand in front or to the other side of your knee. And just lift your heart, lift your gaze, turn your neck in the opposite direction. And just get that neck stretch. Good. On your exhale, slowly unwind. And on your inhale, switch the cross of your legs. So it feels a little funny, I know. But we'll get that hip stretch. Good. When you're ready, inhale, reach up and look up. We're going to take a side stretch. Whatever side feels right, just lean over, keeping both hips glued to the ground. 
take a big breath in and as you exhale we'll just switch sides good and just flow from one side to the other moving with your breath turning your head in the opposite direction as you move just taking some gentle movements good and then come back to center let your fingertips reach out to the sides <clears throat> sit up nice and tall and then take your chin down to your chest stretch the back of your neck and inhale your nose up to the sky and exhale chin back down to chest good and inhale lift your nose lift your gaze and then we'll pause here chin comes to chest and take your hands to the outsides of your legs draw your belly in we'll take some seated cats and cows so draw your belly in draw your back backwards chin comes down to chest and on your inhale shine your heart lift your gaze draw your shoulders back exhale round and inhale shine and exhale round and inhale shine good and come up to seated release your legs give them some freedom here take your hands behind you point your four, um, fingers towards towards your hips and just take your ankles and rotate them side to side like windshield wipers maybe go the same direction so we're flexing our feet, spreading our toes nice and wide. And then see if you can take both toes in toward each other and then out, in and out. Feel your shins starting to get engaged. Congratulations, shins. I hope you're happy. <laughs> All right, take your feet to the floor. We're gonna come up into a reverse table getting our shoulders warmed up maybe take your gaze up or slightly backwards lift your hips a little bit higher say hello good morning take a big breath in and on your exhale lower your hips down extend your legs along sit up nice and tall reach your fingertips toward the sky get really long in your side body look up Say hi to yourself and on your exhalation we'll come forward take a gentle forward bend so you might need your knees to be bent a little bit more than usual since we're just starting sometimes we're doing this standing today we're we're seated come forward until you start to say good morning to your hamstrings and keep a nice flex in your foot so that you're quadriceps are engaged and then we'll use the breath we'll take a few breaths here lift and lengthen as you inhale and as you exhale fold forward chin comes down to chest good inhale again draw the shoulders back away lift and lengthen and exhale take your chin back down to your chest maybe your nose comes a little closer to your knees maybe not We'll take one more. Good. Just moving with the breath. And then once you've taken that last one, just let your arms relax. Let yourself slump forward. And we'll just take a couple more breaths here, just allowing ourselves to get used to this forward fold. So I highly recommend, while we're breathing here for a couple more breaths, I highly recommend Brene Brown's podcast. It's called Unlocking Us. She had uh, a couple of guests on her most recent podcast. They were the authors of a new book called Burnout. And um, they were twins. It's just um, 
It's fascinating. I haven't bought the book, but I'm really, uh, I think I am going to either the book or the audio book because it was so interesting. But she talks about these, uh, the, the importance of managing stress and so many of the suggestions, of course, we're already doing. Um, moving the body, breathing, and one of the um, suggestions is a deep belly laughter <laughs> to just move through the stress cycle. But have no fear, we are already doing most of them. So, But it is a really good book. They do all the research. Brene Brown is a researcher, so she always backs everything up with research. So when you're ready, inhale. Come slowly up, and then we'll take ourselves to our first uh, tabletop, patting our knees, just to be kind to our knees, Move, smooth out all the wrinkles. Bring your hands under your shoulders, spread your fingers nice and wide, take your knees under your hips, and just rock from side to side. Just start to move the hips. And then come to stillness, pressing into your hands. And take those elbow um, creases and just slightly rotate them forward. And take a gander over towards your right foot. And then as you exhale, come back to center. And inhale, take your gaze over to your left foot. And we'll move slowly a couple more times, just side to side. Good. <clears throat> Excellent. And then come back to center. Take your left foot. Press your heel back, coming up on your toe. And then rock forward and back. We'll stretch the foot a little bit more. Good. Excellent. And as you come back, see if you can take your left foot and just bring it forward to uh, where your <coughs> left hand is. And then come up to uh, a low lunge here. And if this doesn't work for your knee and you'd like to, to come up to a higher lunge, you can always tuck your right foot. But if you're comfortable here, we'll just shine our heart here and draw the shoulders back and down. Take a full breath in. Take another round of shoulder rotations, another round or two. And then sink into this left knee. Find that stretch here. Nice big breath in. Nice big breath out. Good. And then we'll take the hands down to the inside of the left foot. Tuck that right toe and lift up. And then send your left leg back. And we'll come down both knees. And then we'll take the right foot back and rock forward and back, sending that right heel back, stretching calf and shin and ankle, just moving forward slowly, keeping the breath nice and slow and smooth. And then on your next breath in, see if you can step or hoist <laughs> that right foot forward, coming into your low lunge here. And we'll lift the heart, shine, and then take some shoulder loops, just rotating the shoulders up, back and down, squeezing those shoulder blades together. Good. Eventually the shoulders land down nice and far away from those ears. And then just press yourself forward, getting that hip flex stretch on the left side. Good. Nice. Breathe in. Good, breathe out. And we'll take our hands to the inside of that right foot, tuck the left toe. Send the right foot back to meet the left. If your hands aren't under your shoulders, place them under your shoulders and we'll come into just a brief plank. And when you're ready, we'll lift on your inhale into our downward facing dog. 
So coming into your downward dog, this might feel really good or it might feel really weird. First dog of the day usually is a little uh, different. Our head's under our heart, so immediately we're challenged in that way. The blood flow comes into our head and brain, which is good for us, right? Gives us that rosy glow. So just bend one knee and then the other and begin to walk your dog and exaggerate your dog. So one knee can come over toward the opposite side and then the other. Good. And keep the neck nice and soft. And eventually we'll come to stillness and press the heels back toward the floor. Lift your hips a little bit more so you can get long. And again, take those elbow creases and rotate them um, toward, more toward the front. And you feel your upper back engage here. Keep those finger finger pads clawing the mat, taking some of the wrist strain away. Take another breath in and then move your blanket or block or any accoutrement that are in your way. And we'll take a slow walk to the front of our mat, finding our, our forward fold standing this time. And you can rotate your wrists once you get there. Take your feet hip width apart. And then take your hands to your elbows and come into ragdoll here. And <clears throat> you might, again, just as we did in our seated forward fold, bend your knees as much as you need to. Just protecting the lower back. Take a full breath in, shake your head. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then shake your head now. Good. Take a big breath in, release your hands, and exhale it out. As you bend your knees, press into your feet. Roll all the way up, reach up and look up, and then take your hands together at your heart center. Bring your chin parallel with the earth, drop your shoulders down and close your eyes. Coming into our mindful mountain pose. Notice how it feels to arrive here in this mountain pose. Find your breath. Find that deep, long breath with the exhalation exceeding, overachieving, getting longer than the inhalation. Then when you're ready, we'll blink the eyes open. Inhale, reach up and look up. Lean back. Maybe look up at your thumbs. Take your palms together up above your head. And on your exhalation, swan dive forward, keeping a bend in the knee as much as needed. Inhale, we'll come into our halfway lift. Draw those shoulders back and away. And on your exhale, take your hands down. Step all the way back into that plank pose, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Shoulders and hands all lined up. And this time we'll rock forward and back on both toes like we did. Nice big breath in. Nice big breath out. Rocking with your breath. We'll take one more. And then we'll lift our hips, come into downward facing dog again. Walk your dog, get into your dog position, so feet hip width, gazing back towards your knees. Inhale, look forward, and on your exhale, step your right foot forward, come into a high lunge. So this is uh, going to be crescent lunge, so the left knee is lifted. We'll raise our arms up and maybe even look up, maybe keep our gaze forward. A little balance challenge. Breathe in and breathe out. And then bring your arms forward, take your right arm, reach back and see if you can look back, keeping that bend in the knee, knee over ankle. Good. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, take your hands back down to the floor, step back, brief plank. Good. <clears throat> Engaging that core, finding our center. And then inhale as you lift your hips, downward facing dog, good. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. 
on your next inhale, we'll take that left leg up and reach it forward, stepping forward, take that lunge here, reaching up, crescent lunge. Good. Challenging, drawing those pinkies toward one another. Maybe looking up, deciding what your plan is for the day. And when you're ready, take the right arm forward, the left arm back, and take a twist. Balance, good. Keep your breath smooth and slow. And on your inhale, rise back up, crescent. And on your exhale, bring your hands down, step back. We'll come into plank. And you can always come down to your knees. That's always an option. And then when you're ready, inhale, back up to downward facing dog. Find your dog. Sometimes you have to readjust a little bit. Take a big breath in and a slow breath out. Press those heels toward the floor. Good. And when you're ready, just walk forward and find your forward fold here. Excellent. Inhale, bend your knees, root to rise, reaching up, looking up. And as you exhale, take your palms together above your head. Press your palms up toward the sky. And take a lean over to your right. Good. Breathing in. Breathe out. Come back up to center. And as you inhale, take your lean over to the left side. Nice, slow and easy. Breathing in. Look up. Release your hands, take them back behind you, find your clasp, press your palms together as much as you can and shine your heart. Lift and spread your toes and then lower one toe at a time so your toes are pressing into the mat and then bending your knees as much as you need to. We'll take a forward fold, lifting our arms up above our head. Deep breath, stretching the backs of the legs. The shoulders, good. Take one more breath in, and on your exhale, release your clasp, and we'll come into chair pose. Yep, framing the ears. Lift and spread your toes again. Recommit to your grounding. Find your chair pose. Engaging those quadriceps, draw the shoulders down away from the ears. You guys got this. Nice big breath in. And as you exhale, pour forward. Take your fingertips to the floor or blocks. Lift and lengthen, coming into your halfway lift. And as you exhale, another brief plank or table. <clears throat> We've already been there. Good. And then lift your hips downward facing dog. Excellent. Take a big breath in and a long breath out. And when you're ready, we're gonna lift the right foot high, get long, keep pressing that left heel into the floor. And as you're ready, take that right knee in toward the belly round, take your nose toward your knee. Inhale, lift your leg again and look forward. Step your right foot forward. You might have to give it a little assistance. No big deal. We're going to come in through that crescent lunge again, raising the arms, drawing those pinkies toward one another. And then as you're ready, open up your right arm forward. Take that left foot and spin it so it's flat and take your left toes and turn them just slightly in and we'll come into warrior two so sinking that right knee forward but not coming forward over the ankle so the right knee is over that right ankle and then think about the left side of that left foot press it equally into the floor take a nice big breath in gazing over your right fingertips and as you inhale next time, just reach up with your right arm and then take your left arm and reach for that right left hand and reach for your right wrist. Come into Sky Archer, leaning back. Good. Big breath in. And as you exhale, release back out to Warrior Two. Straighten your right leg. You might keep a little bit of a bend in the right knee and then lean forward look forward 
And as you exhale, right hand comes down to the inside of the right leg, left arm lifts, and we're in triangle. Good. This is such a great stretch. So keep pressing into that left foot. Think of both feet pressing in to the mat. Maybe lift your gaze towards your left arm. One more breath, you got this. On your exhale, bend your right knee, take your hands down to frame the right foot, spin the left foot so it's facing forward. Take your hands to the mat and step back, brief plank. Nobody said it was gonna be easy. <laughs> But it sure is fun. Lift your hips down, we're facing dog. Come on. We'll take one more side and then we'll get into some juicy yin poses. When you're ready, inhale that left leg high. Point your toes, press your right heel into the, in toward the mat, good. On your exhale, round, take your nose towards your knee. Inhale, lift it up again, look forward. Decide how you're gonna get that leg up to the front of the mat and do it. Good. And when you're ready, inhale, rise up, crescent lunge. Drawing those arms up, framing the ears, pinkies drawing toward one another, and shoulders coming down. Remember to draw those shoulders down away from the ears. Engage that upper back. Good, left knee over left ankle. Spin your back foot to flat, and slightly angle that foot in and then take your arms out wide gaze toward those left fingertips shoulders again drawing down and away good keeping that left knee over that ankle take your left arm extend it up lean back and then reach with your right hand take a hold of that left wrist if you like sky archer good leaning getting that stretch in that left side body this time good big breath in and as you exhale, we'll come back into warrior two. Setting back up, warrior two. And then straighten that left leg. Maybe keeping a little bit of a bend and then lean towards your left. Lean, lean, lean. And then left hand comes down to the inside of this left leg where block is great here. Right arm lifts up and your gaze can travel up toward that, your right fingertips. Give yourself a wave. Good, nice big breath in. And as you exhale, look down. Take your hands to frame your left foot. Spin your right foot so it's forward. We'll take our last brief plank of the day. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Let's take one more rock forward and back, stretching your feet, getting nice and stretched out in those toes. So good for us, good. We're gonna make our way down to our mat, to our bellies, so we can come down through our knees or lower down through a chaturanga. Good, and then make a pillow with your hands and turn your head to one side. Ooh, excuse me. Rock from side to side. And breathe in and breathe out. Excellent. We're gonna take our chin forward. Keep our hands where they are, kind of stacked, and let your chin come down to your hands. And then we're just gonna lift up just the chin, shoulders, and just get a little bit of compression in that lower back. Not more than you need today, only what it works for you, and the legs stay on the floor. Good. Lower down, make your pillow, turn your head to the other side, rock it out. Breathe in. And breathe out. And when you're ready, bring your chin back to center. We're gonna lift up head and shoulders, and then glue your legs together and point your toes and lift your legs off the mat. So knees and toes so we have head shoulders knees and toes lifted good see so if you can keep your breath smooth and steady i know it's hard as much as you can breathing in and on your exhalation just let your legs release turn your head to the opposite side and rock it out good 
Take one more breath in. Another breath out. Awesome. Chin comes back to center. We'll glue our legs together again. And if this worked for you the last time, we'll just lift up one more time. Coming up, head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Maybe coming up a little bit higher this time. Maybe not. Your body, your practice, your breath. <laughs> Keep that breath nice and smooth. One more breath in. And exhale, lower it down. Turn the head the opposite direction. Shake it out. Take a big sigh out of the mouth. Let it go. The breath is such a good tool for releasing stress. And when you're ready, bring your hands to the outsides of your shoulders, your forehead to the floor. Loop your shoulders back, squeeze your elbows together, and we'll just come up through a gentle cobra, pressing in using the strength of our arms to come up. And then we'll take a slow, slow, descent back into child's pose. So knees come wide as the mat. The fingertips come forward, extending the arms, extended child's pose, and just let that forehead come down toward the mat and let your hips sink back, stretching the back. Nice. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. And then as you're ready, just lift yourself up, pressing your hands into the mat, coming up and taking one hip to the mat, turning over, coming toward our back. My tummy is growling all this whole practice. I needed to eat this morning. When you're ready, slowly lower down. Good, come all the way down to your mat. Bring your heels up towards your hips and then take your hands and press them into your mat. Take your both feet hip width apart and press into the mat as you gently lift your hips up. We'll just move the spine in this direction. Coming into our bridge pose. And then decide if you wanna take your hands and clasp them and then snuggle your shoulders underneath you, getting a little bit higher. And this is also, if you happen to have a block, it's nice to tuck a block underneath you for supported bridge. Maybe next time you can try that. We'll do it a couple more times. When you're ready, on your exhale, slowly lower down. Let your back reset on the floor. Maybe rock your knees from side to side. Good. Re uh, set up so heels might need to come back in press your hands into the mat and let yourself come up into your second bridge supported or not so if you have a block and you'd like to tuck it under on whichever height feels good for you this is just so yummy for the lower back you can press it up a little bit higher awesome no mat no I mean no block no problem I'm just giving you options here. We're going to take another breath in and on your exhalation, slowly lower down. Excellent. Good. We'll set up for round three. And if by chance um, wheel is in your practice, feel free to go for it. I'm not going to cue it. It's not my favorite pose. It's very intense, but some of you like it. So come into your back bend of choice pressing your feet equally right and left into the mat lifting your hips maybe a little bit higher we're really strengthening the back today so use your breath as we just complete this last one coming back down to the mat Take one leg, just reach for one leg, extend the other and just hug it in. Rotate that ankle a couple of times. And then gently guide that leg across the body coming into your twist. 
and take your opposite arm across and maybe turn your gaze in that general direction and breathe here. And your next breath in. We'll come back to center. Give yourself one more squeeze and release that leg and we'll switch sides, hugging the other leg in. And take a couple of ankle circles here because we can. And when you're ready, gently guide that leg across the body, open up and find your twist. Use your breath to allow yourself to really let go in this twist. Use your mindfulness to notice where you might be holding on. And give yourself permission to let go with every exhalation. Those long, extra long exhalations do wonders. And we'll take one more breath in. And one more breath out and then roll to your back and then find the Shavasana position that works best for you so I like something tucked under my knees some people like a nice little blanket on their belly if it's cold where you are maybe cover up you can take your shoulders again and snuggle them underneath you so you have a nice broad chest and take your arms out wider than your mat. And let your palms face up. And let your feet just splay out to the sides. And we'll just let go. Let go for just a few minutes here as we allow this practice to integrate. Relaxing the eyes, the jaw, the belly, the legs. Entire body softening toward the floor, melting. Letting go. This is from the poet Dana Folds. It's called Breath of Life. I breathe in all that is, awareness expanding, to take everything in, as if my heart beats the world into being. From the unnamed vastness beneath the mind, I breathe my way to wholeness and healing. Inhalation. Exhalation. Each breath a yes and a letting go. A journey and a coming home.
And slowly begin to deepen your breath again. Make small movements. And when you're ready, if you'd like to join me in a seat, just hug your knees into your chest. Maybe take some of those yummy circles with the knees, drawing some circles on the ceiling. Eventually roll to one side and join me in a seated pose. And let your eyes close. Let your spine lengthen and your shoulders reach down away from the ears again. And just notice. Just notice. Just as we did at the beginning of the practice, notice your whole body. And when you're ready, take your arms out wide like you're going to give yourself a big hug or someone else and reach up and let your palms touch overhead. Draw them right through the center of the body. Let the chin come back down to your chest. Maybe you made uh, an intention. Just recall that intention. Or if you didn't, maybe you have a prayer you'd like to send out now. Something positive for the world or a person or yourself. When you're ready, take those thumbs and lift them to your third eye and I bow to you and as you bow, bow to yourself and, and each other, all of this group who comes together on Monday mornings. It's such a nice uh, ritual for me. I hope it is for you as well. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste, my friends. Namaste. Have a good Monday.